Hello everybody. In this video, in this new video, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to design a cellular beam. Uh, uh, in this uh, design example, I have not uh, optimized the height of the wave because uh, uh, that's gonna take a lot of time. And if you really wanna optimize the height of the wave, then you can uh, you can have a look on the video I have made previously uh, where you could optimize uh, optimization of I beam where you could optimize the wave height as well and but like I said earlier in this video I have not optimized the wave height so let's uh, start the calculation I have assumed that uh, this beam I beam has a height of 300 millimeter and width is 150 millimeter and distance B to circular hole is uh, a swiss distance is 200 millimeter and center center distance is uh, 300 millimeter this is just the diameter of the wave hole which i have just explained you 100 millimeter and total height of i profile h is 300 millimeter and height of the upper t section definitely it is 100 millimeter and lower t section will be to the height minus the height of the upper upper section minus the this diameter of this hole and this will be 100 millimeter and space between the hole is to is st is if I remember right it's 200 millimeter yes and the distance between center to center s naught is 300 millimeter and before we just go to real design work these are the criteria has to be fulfilled for example height s naught is the diameter of the hole this should not be more than the uh, 0 0.8 times the height of the I beam. It should not be more than 0 0.8. That means it shouldn't be more than 240 millimeter. If I'm, I just did, uh, if I'm right, it shouldn't be more than height is 300, so 240 millimeter is. And the uh, minimum depth of the T's, HT, should be more than thickness of planes times 300 millimeter that is uh, uh, I don't know remember the thickness of planes if I remember right it's 7.8 uh, 7.1 7 millimeter and plus 30 millimeter so it should be more than 37.1 millimeter and in our case it's 100 millimeter so it's okay and maximum ratio of the depth of the T's uh, is to not be more than 0 0.5 should be less than uh, sorry should be less than 3 and should be more than 0 0.5 so this is also okay and s naught is the uh, center to center distance should be uh, bigger than 0 0.3 times the h naught 0 0.3 times so h naught is the diameter of uh, the circle and again also s naught is uh, should be be greater than 0 0.4 times the h and this if, when it meets all these circumstances what, what I have listed here then we could uh, uh, this we, we you should not consider this uh, minimum uh, this this part because uh, this is for when we design the y beam which has stored on top of it and also some thickness of concrete is applied it is, it is for composite structure this you can ignore this we don't need uh, for our normal uh, IBM design <coughs> so first determine the mining the centroid a centroid means a centroid for this T section upper because since we have this T section we will not have centroid anywhere and anymore here because this has hole and there is some space between them so if we consider the cross section here exactly in the middle and we should determine the T section this T section centroid and lower T center centroid so to determine centroid we have this kind of formula is area times the distance this area would be the normal area and distance would be the distance from bottom to the center of the, the planes and distance from the bottom to the center of the wave and once we put the, all the values over here it is looking like this that means the center of the T section would be 29.042 millimeter from the bottom of this so that means uh, totally the height is 100 millimeter so this would be quite low from uh, quite low from the top of uh, 
the t and once we know the uh, centroid uh, then we can determine the z distance z distance is the center of the centroid of the lower t and to the centroid of the upper t so that is like 300 minus 2 times the distance from base to here and top base to top to here so that will give us the z distance is 241.96 millimeter now first thing we need to do is global bending moment capacity check so i have assumed we have applied bending moment is 100 kN meter and material if capacity is 355 uh, newton per millimeter square and area of area of lower t upper t is going to be pretty much the same and it's a1 plus a2 and a1 and a2 we calculated earlier to determine the centroid that is why i have mentioned a1 and a2 but basically you can calculate the area of this t section over here you can you can do it the way you like you don't have to follow the same method for the area and and we already is the moment divided by the z distance which is like i said earlier centroid of this point to the centroid of this point z distance would be that and once we do that we get the force acting in this direction which is indicated with del and here and uh, after that we can calculate the capacity uh, bending moment capacity of our section this was applied one MEV and after that when we calculate the bending moment capacity of our T section um, no, sorry not the T section but uh, uh, the cross section where the hole is and it will be like area is the area of the T and the FY is the yield capacity and Z, Z is the distance from the top of the neutral uh, centroid to the bottom of the centroid and this will give us the bending moment capacity which is 176.303 kN meter which is more than 100 kN so that is okay and if we want to talk about the force acting del and in our case uh, then this has to be less than area of t lower times yield capacity and this way we could uh, uh, this if this satisfies then a global bending moment check is done similar to that we have to do global sphere force check and i have assumed that the cross section we have is um, falling in either cross section class one or two because if i put them in all cross section class then i have to calculate this effective area and that would be uh, that would be quite lengthy process that's why i just considered uh, cross section class one or two and in general design also we don't we don't try to go cross section class four or lower because uh, uh, in that case uh, though the, the the capacity check has to go through a lot of uh, a lot of complicated calculation and in normal design when we do the design of this kind of uh, cellular beam we also try to consider that uh, the cross section class falls within one or two once the cross section class is one or two then we can easily calculate the AV AV is the area time two times the A2 two times A2 means the two times the area of uh, this uh, T uh, I will just quickly show you uh, sorry no no not area of the T but area of the weight like I showed you here how the sphere area is considered so two times the area of this upper t and the lower t and a2 is the area of wave area of the t i have calculated earlier but you can do it like the way you want you don't have to follow this because this i just put it in matka this can go easily so this area uh, two times a2 is a2 is the area of upper t and we have two of them upper t wave not the whole area but just the area of the wave and we have two of them so and this safety factor is one according to euro code so that will not have any influence in our results so av is the area and this is the normal uh, calculation of shear force and when we calculate it we got it 407.471 kilonewton so this is way too higher than 
12.5 kilonewtons that uh, so the global state check is also done and after that we do seal buckling check if these are the condition matches and we don't have to go through the same uh, go through the other calculation but in our case it's not true so we have to do some other calculation and uh, this is slenderness slenderness calculation goes as like this and when we check this 0 0.38 it will fall somewhere over here and when you go up then the value of this will be equal to one so that means there will be no reduction but if there is reduction factor then the formula is looking like this and the, the 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 result will be a bit different than uh, different than what we got earlier in our share capacity here so this will be uh, there will be some reduction factor and because of that the value goes stop but in our case since the reduction factor is one there will be no reduction at all and after that the binding capacity of t we should calculate that this we need when we do ver varian del bending and this is like this and we have i i is the bhq divided by 12 plus 80 square this is uh, for the flames part and goes to weight part and bhq divided by 12 plus 80 square and for mm, uh, at least for the weight uh, uh, yes bhq divided by 80 square plus bhq divided by 12 plus area times t square and this will be also the value is looking like this E is 100 minus Y is 70.598 millimeter and that will give us give us uh, WEL is I divided by E and the value comes like this moment is uh, at, at, actually there will be like divided by give me a sec uh, the formula is like complete formula yes that's but this will have no influence like I said earlier this the value is one but still the euro code gives us this kind of value so and <clears throat> after that when we come because uh, uh, since this has hole on it so this will have a special effect on it and normally I have considered this method, this method, there will be a special binding moment because of the wall and since we have all the effective LV effective will be will be 0 0.45 times the D but there are also other method where you can calculate this kind of moment with the different formulas but in our case I've used the concept over here so this is applied according to this one and <clears throat> when I got the bending uh, and uh, it is looking like this and mm, uh, this surface is exactly like the location so that is something we all know and VB uh, is limited to this one and uh, the surface can be transmitted through the top opening like uh, one of the t is this one and both if we would like to calculate overall then it would be looking like this and as if when we calculate vd global it's really high and uh, when we compare with the surface we have in our design then it's way too low so it's okay similar to that we have to do the bending check as well local bending check and vd or d is two times this plus two times this it's for the uh, bottom part and top part so overall calculation would look like this and we get 38.799 kilonewton meter this is uh, due to uh, mm, this is the capacity and MD what we got in our case is 0. 536 563 kilonewton uh, but the capacity is set to 38.799 kilonewton so it's 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 okay 
And similar to that, we also have wave post horizontal sail, for example. I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about. This one over here, VH. We should have to make sure this is also OK and for that the calculation looks like this. The EV is the sail force and SE is the distance from center to center. If I have a mistake, so it is to ace distance of the opening and once we have that and will be divided by Z is the labor arm and once we do that we get this and our capacity of this is the uh, this is the designed one and the capacity would look like this and once we do the check and if they're okay that is okay Additional to this, we also have to check uh, uh, global lateral, uh, lateral buckling check like uh, I have in our column design. I previously put a video there is, uh, I have shown uh, in that video how to do that uh, check, do the check of lateral torso and buckling. Uh, to, or, uh, buckling check. Once we do the, that check, and if it fulfills the check, then it is more or less uh, done. Uh, but normally, this kind of design, we, we, we always have to do the recheck in the FIM analysis, uh, FIM software as well. This uh, is just a preliminary check. This can be just a preliminary check. If you have the math carry and you have the format ready, then you can put the all the bending moment. But like I said earlier, this kind of this kind of calculation is normally done in uh, a, a finite element metal, for example, robot structural, or uh, there are so many sophistic, or so many, there are so many different software you can use, use for that. And this is how it is done. But definitely, this kind of check has to be carried out before we perform the, before we do the, uh, do the design of the cellular being case. This condition has to satisfy it. Then we could go to the go to the go to the design of uh, the uh, this kind of uh, shadow robin. Thank you, everybody. Hope you, 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 the video was helpful for you. If you wish to design a uh, cellular, you can follow the instruction what what is given here. But like I said, normally this kind of design uh, takes too much time. This is why normally we do this design this kind of design in. Thank you very much.